In this video, we're going to find out how to find the area of a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a rhombus. We're going to start off with the area of a parallelogram. The formula for area of a parallelogram is base times height. So our base is going to be down here, and our height is going to be right over here. Now, the base can also be the top length, so it doesn't really matter which base you choose. Uh, let's try an example. So I'm going to rewrite the formula. And I'm going to fill out the information I uh, know. First of all, I don't know what the area is. I'm going to rewrite that. The base I do know. It's 13. So in place of B, I'm going to write 13. And H, we know that as well. It's 9 centimeters. So we're replacing H with 9. To simplify, we just multiply those two numbers, 13 times 9, and it's 117 centimeters squared. And that's our final answer. Moving on to the trapezoid, this is a long formula. It's base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. It seems complicated, but it's not that bad. So base 1 and base 2. It doesn't matter which one you decide is base 1 and which one is base 2. As long as you add up both bases, you're going to get the same answer. Our height is right over here. And once you uh, add those two and multiply by the height, you're just going to divide everything by two. So let's try this example. I'm going to rewrite the formula. Area equals base one plus base two times height divided by two. And let's fill in base one and base two. Base one is 11. Base two is 15. So we should have in the parentheses uh, 11 plus 15. Now, Outside that parentheses, we're multiplying with the height, which is 6 centimeters. So in place of h, we're writing 6, and we're dividing everything by 2. Uh, I'm going to start off by simplifying the inside of this parentheses. Uh, 11 plus 15 is 26. Now rewrite everything else. Bring the 6 down, the line, and then the 2. All right, next step is to multiply those two. Some people like to uh, divide or cross, uh, do some uh, canceling or reducing first. Um, you can do that, but we're going to skip that in this video. So 26 times 6 is 156, and we still have to write the divided by 2 beneath it. And now 156 divided by 2 is 78 centimeters squared, and that is our final answer. Finally, we are going to do our rhombus, area of a rhombus. You need to know the diagonals. So it's diagonal 1 times diagonal 2 divided by 2. Diagonal 1 is this line right here, this segment. It goes from one corner to the next. And diagonal 2 is this segment, which goes from this corner to the opposite corner. So let's try this example, rewriting our formula. Area equals diagonal 1. We're replacing that with this 18. And you're multiplying it with diagonal 2, which is 12. Now, if you had written 12 times 18 instead of 18 times 12, you're still going to get the same answer. So it doesn't matter which one you choose as diagonal 1 and which one is diagonal 2. Anyhow. Again, if you want to reduce, you can, but we're going to skip that. We're going to multiply 12 and 18. So that's 216. We still need to divide it by 2. And once we do that, we end up with 108 centimeters squared. And that is how you find the area of a rhombus, a trapezoid, and a parallelogram.